Olga Benman spent most of her adult life battling a common problem. I've been trying to lose weight for many years and it's been going up and down, dieting, exercising, it just never came down. Every time I lose it, it will come back and even more. If that sounds familiar, it should. 60 million Americans are obese, 9 million are considered severely obese, and are battling not only the weight, but the resulting health problems, like heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Olga's blood pressure and cholesterol kept creeping up, but the final straw for her was when she started having trouble breathing. Uh, it was very difficult. I, mean, I was getting out of breath. I couldn't, I couldn't pick up my child. So Olga made a decision that changed her life and her body forever. Two years ago, she had bariatric or weight loss surgery, specifically gastric bypass surgery. She used to be a size 20. Now, she's a size 8. Um, I had to lose, well, realistically, we were thinking about 80 pounds, but I ended up losing about 90. And most of it came off in the first year. Olga's not the only one who loves her new body. Her husband, Mark, does too. Oh, he thinks it's amazing. Olga's surgeon, Dr. Jeremy Corman. Dr. Corman is the director of the Center for Surgical Weight Control at Sentinella Freeman Regional Medical Center in Southern California. It's one of only a handful of facilities nationwide that received the prestigious Bariatric Surgery Center of Excellence distinction from the American Society of Bariatric Surgery. With the gastric bypass, we're taking a stomach that's perhaps three to four liters in size, or football size, and we're cutting it down to about one percent the original size. To about the size of an egg. The gastric bypass reduces the capacity of the stomach by dividing it way at the top, just a little bit below where the food pipe or the esophagus dumps into it. Another surgical option for weight loss is known as the lap band procedure. That's when a portion of the stomach is sectioned off with a band to restrict food intake. It's a reversible and less aggressive alternative to gastric bypass, but Dr. Corman says the results are typically not as dramatic. So the lap band is potentially reversible, but if you reverse it, you're just going to regain the weight, and that's, that's the problem. So who's the best candidate for bariatric surgery? Well, it's based upon the patient's weight, height, and health. The, the surgery is inappropriate for a certain group of people that either aren't heavy enough or don't have uh, weight-related illnesses. If your body mass index is 40 or greater, then you're an appropriate candidate. That usually equates to being about 100 pounds overweight. But can surgery solve those serious, often life-threatening health problems that can come with being obese? All of these illnesses that go along with being overweight are either cured or improved by losing weight. And that's why each year, thousands of people choose bariatric surgery to lose large amounts of weight. Gastric bypass surgery usually lasts under two hours and requires a two-night hospital stay. Most patients are back to work in two to three weeks. The lap band procedure takes about one hour in the operating room and one night in the hospital. Also, a psychological evaluation is required prior to the operation. Keep in mind, bariatric surgery comes with risks, but Dr. Corman says the risk of remaining obese should be more frightening. Whatever the death rate is for patients that have surgery, even the death rate in the first year from complications of surgery, let's say, is actually no greater than the death rate or mortality rate of patients who decide not to have surgery. Following surgery, patients must learn to eat healthier and smaller amounts of food, so they're typically put on a liquid diet and supplements immediately following surgery. After about a month, regular food is reintroduced. For Olga, it all seemed to come naturally. I had no side effects whatsoever. She slowly began to weight train and do cardio to reach her ultimate weight and fitness goals. But eventually Olga reached a different goal, one that had been on her mind for years but seemed impossible. She hiked to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, the tallest freestanding mountain in the world, with an elevation of nearly 20,000 feet. And so when we finally made it, it was amazing. I just, it was very hard to believe <laughs> that it, it's possible. <laughs> possible, Olga says, thanks to gastric bypass surgery and a dedication to good health. 
gastric bypass, it, it's a great tool to help you lose that weight and then it's up to you to maintain it. Which is exactly what she's doing and that, Olga says, allows her to keep up with her daughter, see more of the world with her husband and just enjoy living life. It does tremendous things to your self-esteem, how you feel, how you interact with people. Just your whole life basically changes.